I try and talk. Enunciate. I am enunciating. Greetings, folks. And welcome to episode 31. Yes. Of the Born Lives of Interesting People podcast. Podcast. I'm Daniel. And I'm Katie, Lady Lamy's case with a K Mesmer of the 22nd PhD, aka the new little K. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did add something, but I'm not going to try and remember what it is. What was it? Uh, try. <laughs> It was in the last episode. Uh, oh, I think no. it was dumb, so I'm not. It's all dumb. I'm but dumb, Katie Lady Lowmies. Yes. <laughs> dumb Katie That's Lady. Mm-hmm. Katie, how have you been? Uh, I'm sick. Yeah, how has sickness been? Uh, sickness pretty much sucked because that's like the sickest I think I've been in like 10 years. I I puked. I never puke. <laughs> Now you're just bad. bragging about it, too. <laughs> I puked, like, so much, you guys. Mm, like that one time I got my, wis- my wisdom teeth taken out and I puked blood. Oh! I remember that! <laughs> <laughs> it's pro- mm-hmm. Still probably the most metal thing you've ever done. <laughs> probably. It's very metal apocalypse of you. Pra- in fact, I'm pretty sure that happened in an episode. Probably. Yeah. But I don't think it was because they got the wisdom teeth taken out. It's probably like they ate metal shards or something. They were unhealthy or something, yeah. They wanted to become more metal, so they ate metal. Mm-hmm. It was like ingest all yeah, the metalness. Totally. Okay. So what are you, are you <laughs> feeling any better now? Uh, I I'm feeling better, but then like, I'll not get a, get enough sleep one night, and then I'll just feel absolutely shitty. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this one a little early for you, so you can no, get sleep. It's a it's rare cool. night record. It's actually straight it up is. dark out. Yeah. It is quite p.m. tonight. It's almost. It's quite p.m. It's quite p.m. <laughs> it's almost eight. Uh, I am also sleepy. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if you're actually tired, but. I just did uh, eight days in a row at work oh. in order to get new oh. days off. Yeah. So it's going to be worth it. I'm going to have Friday, Saturdays off now. Hmm. But still, um, it was weird because I used to work Thursday through Monday. Mm-hmm. And then come Sunday, like, I usually get, I'm over it. I'm like, ready for Monday. Monday comes. Monday's easy. It's done. Yeah. So it was like, Sunday came and I was like, oh, I'm so over. The, oh my God, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just had a full week and it was the most frustrating fucking week of work. Like, we're Aww. moving everything around. And I essentially had three managers above me telling me to do different things. Oh, and sucks. then one at a time, they would come by and tell me to do something that yeah. would contradict what the last one told me to do. So I was just doing and undoing and undoing yeah. and redoing for like three days. And then finally someone like, like I was just so fucking fed up yesterday that <laughs> I guess after I left one of my coworkers was like to manager, did you notice how Daniel was kind of annoyed? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I did. He seemed like really unusual. It's like he had three different people to him do three different things. So I actually got an apology out of it. That's good. But it was weird because like I was just oh, wit and so just <laughs> like at the end of my shift, I just like sat down my stuff and walked away. I was just done. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't, hey, I'm leaving. It was. <laughs> fuck, <this shit>. fuck <laughs> you guys <laughs> no because i would have given indication i was leaving i was just mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Aww. <laughs> yes so that was uh i'm currently tired because of that however i'm i'm doing well otherwise that's good uh before you get into the thing i really want to ask you about okay because you go to Academy. Oh, yeah okay yeah because yeah. yeah, yeah. okay. that sounds fucking cool yeah i want to complain about one more thing okay well, I've actually got some other stuff. None of my complaints, really. Oh, that one is. Um, <laughs> are you familiar with Live Nation? I've heard of it. Live Nation and Ticketmaster are like the two biggest, actually, it might even be one company now, mm-hmm. event ticket selling companies in the planet. Mm-hmm. They essentially own most venues you know of. Right. So they sell tickets, they're able to charge service fees for bullshit mm-hmm. for no reason, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they have an app for the phone. The mm-hmm. information phones that we have. Right. And, um, information phones. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Actually, mine is called iTelephone. Three. I've broken a couple. And you have three? No, I have a, a, a five. But oh, okay. This is the third one of them. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I number them all. Right. Um, so they have a Live Nation app, and if you updated it in a certain amount of time, uh, about a month or two ago, it entered you in a drawing to get a year's worth of tickets. Mm-hmm. A couple of days ago, I get an email saying, you won. Oh, my God. Right? I'm fucking <laughs> super stoked. I'm just like trying to keep my cool. I'm like, this is still fucking cool. I can't believe it. <laughs> and I'm looking over the contest rules. It's like you got a contest contact within 24 hours, a contact within like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And uh, you get $1,500 worth of tickets. Oh, my God. And there's like three weeks of black. Like you have to have three weeks advance of a show. You can't like yeah. get the day of 
ticket sales and there's some blackout dates, but it's fine because I don't give a shit about that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's fucking cool. I saw the email. Next day, I get an email. It's like, this is a notice regarding your sweepstakes email. Basically, it said, we fucked up and sent that to everyone. Oh, my God. Right? Dude. Oh. When I thought it was too good to be true, I was like, it's too good to be true. And I started looking through the app at all the shows. I want to go. I'm like, oh, God, Childish Gambino, St. Vincent. Oh, my <laughs> God. I could just pay for all these shows, have all these shows covered. And I'd, I'd be so happy. And then they're like, well, we fucked up. But as a measure of good faith, because we want to like keep you as a customer, yeah. essentially, we're offering you two free lawn seats to an amphitheater show of your choice. Which it's is right. something. I yeah. mean, I didn't have those in the first place, yeah. but God, I was so excited. <laughs> and I was just like, this is the best thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> as a, a frequent concert and comedy show goer. Oh, basically, I, I would have blown through most of it by June. Yeah, I could see that. Because mm-hmm. there was, I think, a dozen shows in like the next month and a half, Jesus and then that's Christ. not even that's not even including like comedy shows because Sketchfest is happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I bought my ticket for this year. I bought one thing so far. Mm-hmm. Next paycheck, we'll see how it pans out. But um, I'm gonna go see Never Not Funny live. Mm-hmm. Never Not Funny is the very first podcast I started listening to. Aww. It's kind of the one that got me into it. I've never seen it live, and I'm gonna go when they play. An 11 in the morning show. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> and they're going to have one of my favorite guests they ever have ca- called, uh, named, rather. Let's go British. Called Tom, nope, Todd Glass. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be fucking great. So I'm looking forward to that very much. Katie Howisack anime. It was it was good. It was really good. Um, I was a cat being, being a cat person. It was fun. I only did it one day because I was <laughs> sick as fuck. <laughs> and it was um, just sweating off your face. Pretty much. I, I actually had like, cold sweats so um i probably shouldn't have been there one uh two it was still good <laughs> um we mostly just that. walked around and got so many more people taking pictures of her so she was a lot more happy what was kid um amaterasu from Okami. oh yeah amaterasu from okami so where do you i think you've played day? that have i i think so i think we've talked I've about played, like it. six games <laughs> it's for the ps2 it's like where you can draw with a paintbrush and like painting, it makes first of all what that's painting first of all it is um if you made me play it maybe. i didn't make you play it no oh okay. is that the one where you're like you're like a dog or something yeah i know of it i haven't played it okay she was like the human version of that dog she was just walking scribbles no she was she like she had a kimono a white kimono on and like a white wig and white ears cool ears maybe and um this. like white foxtail and she had the little shield thingy on her back. That's why people actually recognized her this okay, time. Cool. So she was happy about it. I don't know. I, I, I'm I regretting not doing the Cheshire thing a little more, but the makeup is so fuck. It took me an hour to put the makeup on, and I didn't even do it correctly. I was looking at um, that one picture I took mm. earlier, and I was just like, I oh, oops. <laughs> now you know the pain it is to be in the band Kiss. Yeah. They do that every night. That's disgusting. Show. Yep. And they do it themselves. Really? Like six year old Jewish men, they just do it themselves. <laughs> that's kind of cool, but I wouldn't be able to but stand then, it. But then again, you're saying Gene Simmons is cool, and that's not okay. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you can say it. It's just it's not okay. <laughs> so, what, what do you, what was there? Like, were uh, people there? Because I've never been to anything like this. You should come you next know. time. Okay, fine, I will. Done. Um, <laughs> when is I think it? the next one is in the summer. Jesus. Um, they have one of these like every day? No, just every six months. Um, there's SACCON in March. Second? March? Are you going to second? May? Uh, probably. Well, now that I'm going to do new days off, I might be able to actually go to something like this. True. At least for a day. Yeah. Yes. Um, we're excited. I forgot the question you asked me in the first place. What else was there? Well, <laughs> right. What all was there, rather? Um, basically, at that one, it's mostly just people dressing up and going and being social with their fellow nerds so if i don't dress up it's not probably gonna be fun for me it, it, Ooh, can i be terrible spider-man you can be terrible yes. spider-man i bet people would really like it honestly um <laughs> but yeah if you dress up it's a lot more fun mm. but you can go without it and still be social and stuff um take a lot of pictures are there people that are doing off. signings yes um they have a list and i can forward you the email sure. but um if you go on the second of my site and sign up for the a newsletter they'll send you things like hey go to this hey go to this uh, it sounds like they person's an emailers um they are but they're not like annoying okay it's like here's something you're gonna like that's good at least at least i'll like it yeah you know? 
(laughs) (laughs) Um, And then there's the artist alley, which is like a gigantic area where people just sell all their cool shit. Some of it's weird. Like they have naked body pillows, but they're like anime characters. I'm, I'm sorry. What is this? Um, is this like a, a real doll or oh like these oh when I was younger like 10 or 11 mm-hmm. I used to watch wrestling mm-hmm. and they came out with these these like maybe two foot high plush doll versions of some of the wrestlers that had pressure things on them where you could like grab their arm and they get like oh they're an arm bar and you could wrestle with them and I broke about four of them <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they're, they're amazing and fun <laughs> and just be ruthless are they like those kind Except of sex <laughs> Kind of. Um, it's like an actual just rectangular body pillow. And then it's got like a picture of a naked kind of 12-year-old looking anime chick. Oof. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, most cartoon ladies kind of look young anyway. But those are anime ones. Yeah. The guys. <laughs> the guys. It's Tiny funny, bodies. I, I feel like <laughs> female characters in anime look like two things. They look like... Uh, adolescent girl Mm -hmm. or they look like a crazy old lady and between adolescent girl and like one that's supposed to be 60 yeah they all look about the same age yeah but then of course when they reach the old lady they're just squint they're like hunched over gray hair yeah gray hair it's it's those two things that's true and then guys have a lot well i don't know if they have more variety they could have black hair then they get mad then they have gold hair then they have really (laughs) pointy long golden hair and then sometimes it turns red i think but i don't remember what that is and then it could also not be from dragon ball z really it turns red well that one is like dragon ball gt or something i didn't actually watch it i never watched that and multicolored hair or something i don't really know that's weird is it red internet let us know (laughs) (laughs) tell us about dragon ball z or gt shh um, Dragon Balls. Zzz. Shout out to Mixtape for that one. That was always her joke. Dragon Balls. Yes. Kitty Vamp. Uh, <laughs> trying to <find> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else there was. Yeah, like, did you get anyone's signature? Or um, no, I'm not really fuck. into that. Um, I mean, it's cool that they're there and it's cool that they're talking to their fans, but they have like so many people to go through and some of them charge. Um, so expect that. Uh, Cole from the radio station hmm. I took a picture with... Sp- Mario's voice? Yeah, he's always there. It's oh okay, that's just a normal thing. Yeah. But he's always at just cons or just No, he's Sac always at anime? SAC anime. That's weird. I think it's probably because he lives in SAC, so he's just like, oh. Hey, I'll go. I'll go outside and walk next door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kate, I'm trying to load that thing that we had on the page. Thing. Remember our shout out? Oh yeah. But it's not working. Well um yeah, I'm gonna try it like this. Keep vamping. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um Oh my god. Uh what else do they have? Uh, thinking, thinking so hard, but I'm sick, so it's not really working. I'm really bad at vamping. Go. <laughs> All right, so we got our after shit. I already lost it. There it is. <laughs> after 30 episodes, we got our first iTunes review. Which, folks, you should go on iTunes, review the show, give us five star, nothing less. Because what's the fucking point? Don't be a dick. Also, we're awesome. Yeah, Katie's pretty <laughs> cool. I'm also here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got our first review, a five star review. So shout out to seventy six stipod, S T pod. I don't actually know. Seventy six pod? Seventy six street pod. So if that's a thing, <laughs> thing you know, shout out and plug for seventy six street pod who said do yourselves a big favor and subscribe to the best a very original show. Jokes on them. <laughs> 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 but thank you very much for that and uh we'll send you digital hugs in the near future. Actually, let's do them now, Katie. I'm going to make it a long, awkward hug. Okay. Mm. All right. Your hair smells nice. 76 bucks. <laughs> mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so is that all you've done lately? Um, no. What, what else do you do, Katie? Adventures uh, with Katie. Adventures with Katie, kind of. Whenever um, I go over to Dan's house, we always watch something. Oh, I knocked Dan. out Bob's Burgers. I'm, I'm I like the Bob's show. Bob's Burgers now, actually. It's pretty good. Right? If the, do they have a third season or something? Uh, they have three and four. They're in four now. Oh, because they only have like two on Netflix. You should... Four. The third <laughs> season. I I know, but I stopped that a long time ago. I don't feel like... You retired from... Up. Ink. <laughs> 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 you yeah. finally see what I'm doing there? Yeah. I probably picked up on yours still. Yeah. I don't do that. No. I've never heard of it. No. No one has. It's fake. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's a lie. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um... And I watched the Arrow, what which is, is this? the That's green, the Green Arrow sort of 
TV series. Um, it's an interesting take on it. I wasn't ever really familiar with the comic book character. Is this the guy that drives a car? I don't know Green Arrow. What? <laughs> oh, wait, that's Green Hornet. Green Arrow is like an archer? Yes, Kay. he's an archer, and um, he's basically another kind of Bruce Wayne character, but he like gets thrown into an island and then learns how to shoot because he's a guy trying to survive i guess okay and he comes back to the city and he's like playing robin hood basically that explain. you know i never put those two together that that's how he dresses and then he's basically just being robin hood yeah wow i might be stupid <laughs> I, might be, I might be really dumb because no. he, he, he looks like him I he's mean, got this hat and he's got blonde hair kind of parted Racist. to the Racist. side and he's got a twirly mustache. I thought that was just the guy from kind of Princess Bride. Oh. Uh, who plays yeah. the and most Miyazaki American dubs. He's in almost all of them. Really? Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. I was watching one of them and I was like, Who's that what's that voice? I don't know, <laughs> totally that guy. Whatever oh. that guy's name is, don't That's look cool. at him Yeah. Um What the fuck else did I watch? Uh it was something, something exciting. Oh, um, Orange is the New Black. Have you seen that? No, I really want to watch it though. It's, it's in my queue. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Since you said it's good, I'm gonna watch it. It's been <laughs> in my queue for a while, and I'm assuming since it's a Netflix original, it's not gonna go away because it's on Netflix. Yeah. Hopefully. So. Um, I don't. I do not like the main character though. Be prepared for her being really retarded. I've it takes seen, a few episodes, I've but seen an episode. Okay. Eh. Okay. Yeah, like, you're indifferent about her, but, like, toward the end of the season, you're just kind of like, why? <laughs> you. Why existing. you? Why you exist? <laughs> Pretty much. Cool. And what have you been doing? Um, I've also been re- I've been rewatching Bob's Burgers. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've been playing with uh, cooking weird shit. Okay. Last night, based on an episode of Parks and Rec. Yes, of um, course. <laughs> I made a mac and cheese pizza. That was it. <laughs> kind of amazing <laughs> all right so it's pretty easy i i, I didn't want to adventure too much with the recipe right so i found one online i went with that so i kind of did some things i wouldn't normally do okay so i i took a pizza a pizza crust i put it down that was i didn't want to roll it out and yeah. do that but i probably will next time because it probably is gonna be next time cause fucking. <laughs> but so you take that you get your noodles going like it would make mac and cheese normally mm-hmm. and then another one you make like a sauce and this recipe called for Velveeta cheese, which I'm usually not a fan of, mm-hmm. but it took three quarters of a pound of it. Oh my That's God. a lot of this shit. That's gross. <laughs> so whisk that up, got a nice sauce going, put down a layer of that, mm-hmm. put the rest of it, the other half of it into the noodles, mix mm-hmm. that up together, made normal mac and cheese, put that on top. On top of all that, mozzarella cheese in the oven, maybe 15, 20 mix till late night, light golden brown. Mm. And because of the, I'm guessing because of the Velveeta's consistency when it cools it keeps it together as a solid which makes it ideal for this pizza right fucking so good (laughs) like i was very surprised i want to try it with real actual cheese and see how it goes just for experiment sake and because velveeta is like not cheese yeah it's like craft singles it's cheese product right but i i want to try it in another way because it was it was a success and Mm -hmm. uh, it made for a delicious leftover dinner tonight and also, I tried some weird stuff with pasta that I don't really remember. But I'm, I'm just adventuring out in as far as culinary uh, exploits. That sounds really cool. I'm trying to make a better adult of myself. It's gross. Ugh. Yeah. About to I, do my I, taxes I, too. <laughs> oh my god! I need to do taxes. Yeah. I quit my job, Daniel. Oh my god! You did? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Fuck that place anyway. No. Yeah. Uh, it needed to happen. But Sell out. I mean, not anymore. Now you're the, now you're like Guy Fox. Yeah. <laughs> it is Guy Fox. Which so means I'm one? going to die. No, it means you're going to starve. Then you're going to die. No. no, I'm going to starve, get tortured, and then die. Why are you getting tortured? Um, because Guy Fox. Oh, right, right, right. The right. actual guy. <laughs> I, I went back to um you, not being Guy Fox for this part. Are you? Why was I starving? <laughs> Because I assumed you would not have money for food and then die. Oh, well, yeah. yeah if I didn't live with my mom. Yeah, yeah. be fine, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> as far as food goes. So, how'd it feel? Good. Yeah. Really good. Um, do, would you do anything dramatic? No. Damn it. I've always wanted to quit a job like in a really dramatic way. See, I want to, but I don't have any other references. Um, They're my only reference and I need to kind of... Otherwise, it'd be absolutely for nothing. 
So absolutely, if absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure you caught these. That absolutely fine. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I. I'm just really happy because I put in my two weeks and I was like, yes. Are you already done? No, I'm not done. Um, my last day is the twenty fifth. Still time to do something stupid. <sighs> Maybe like a f- just like a little firecracker in one of the produce sections. It's, it's really not worth it. As you leave, just <laughs> <laughs> go out like Ice Fox. Yeah. And then yeah. they torture me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm happy for you. That place made you miserable, mm-hmm. and uh, you're too good for it. Thank you. So, um, good luck in your your job search. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna Come need join it. me. It'll suck eventually, but it'll be fun for a little while. Yeah, it's it's a job, you know. I I may just so I can have something, b- so I can look for other stuff. I just for some reason I've been an okay reference for people there already. So oh, okay, yeah. That works. Yeah. It, it may just be <laughs> like a weird, a Kate when they need you sort of thing at first. Oh, yeah. 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 What else? Okay. You're good. Yeah. you good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Katie, what else have I done? I um, don't know what else you've done. Saw a couple of movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, did I, th- I talked about Wolf of Wall Street last time, right? I think so. Okay. So since then, I've seen American Hustle. Did I talk about that? No. Okay. Saw the American Hustle. Okay. It's a little, a little overrated. Oh. Um, Christian Bale's great in it. Yeah. He's a good actor in general. Yeah. Uh, Amy Adams is great in it. She's also really hot. <laughs> um, what's that guy's name? Bradley Cooper's been getting it. Mm-hmm. I think he's really the most worthy of all the praise the movie's been getting. Other than that, it's fine. It's like a crime thriller or like a, uh, like a villain getting away with crime thriller, which oh, okay. I'm really cool with. Like that's yeah. all, uh, Wolf on Wall Street was. Yeah. Wolf there, so I can say it Wolf. right once. Wolf on Wall Street. <laughs> Wolf on Wall Street. Wolf, Wolf Street. Because um, it's just, you know, bad people getting away with things. Like, right. Ocean's Eleven is that. Yeah. I fucking love those kind of movies for some yeah. reason. Uh, but this one, it's like that, but it's like a tame version of that, and then it just fizzles out. Oh, that sounds kind of bad. Uh, it's not bad. It's just, it shouldn't be getting all the accolades. It's been no. Like, it got a bunch of Golden Globes, I think. It's, mm-hmm. it's been nominated for a bunch of Oscars as of today. But uh, oh, so it's probably just like all politics, probably. Mm-hmm. And then I also saw a movie that I'm gonna go ahead and skip to what my part, my okay. recommendation. Okay. Called Inside Lewin Davis. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of this? No. It is a, a movie about a folk singer mm-hmm. in '60s, I think. Mm-hmm. It's. I'm good. I'd be so mad at you. I I'm good. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I made sure I flipped it back. <laughs> um. But it's called. It's about a folk singer in the '60s, and he used to be part of a duo, and the other active is, and then his duo split up, and it's him trying to get his foot back in the door. And it takes. It basically shows like a week or two of his life mm-hmm. as he tries to do this in this his weird trials and tribulations. And there's an adorable, fucking wonderful, um, B story involving a cat. Aww. Yep. Uh, Right, <laughs> it's it's the best, and the cat's goddamn adorable in it. Aww. And John Goodman shows up, and I love John Goodman. So no, I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cat and John Goodman. Yeah, yes. that's a winner. <laughs> it's called Inside Lewin Davis indie movie, getting some praise and stuff. It's got a great soundtrack because for the movie, the guy sings a bunch, and yeah, Aww, yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Oscar Lewis, I think. Could be wrong. He's a guy. Okay. For a full thing on it, listen to the latest, Bring Your Own Popcorn. Mixtape Majesty goes on a long thing about it that oh, I don't okay. remember a lot of, but I wound up seeing it, and yeah, really good. Sounds awesome. And I'm going to soon watch Her. Have you heard of Her? No. Her is a guy that falls in love with Siri, essentially. Oh, dear God. Okay. Apparently, it's fucking amazing. It, it sounds like it could be really good. Yeah, so I'm going to probably... If not tonight, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it. All right. Have you anything else for us, Katie? Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm going to talk I'm like this. Sorry. Um, nothing relevant. I was just <laughs> gonna say school starting soon. Oh, are you excited for how many? How much longer you got? Uh, what semester? It starts the twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Okay. Um, you excited uh, at all? This might be my last semester. Ooh. Yeah. Did have you put in for graduation? No, um, but you, I, I need to do it at your advance is bullshit. Yeah, I need to make sure that the um, economics class that I'm taking is actually going to help me graduate. Economical. Economical. I'm taking stats. Fuck Ooh. stats. 
you have anything fun? Because it sounds shitty so far. Um. What are you? What is she taking? Stats, okay. economies. Um, stats, cost benefit analysis. I'm so taking. No, no. <laughs> um, uh, my philosophy class is knowledge and understanding, and then history of ethics. So it's pretty much gonna suck. Except for knowledge and understanding, I think that'll yeah, be that fun. Yeah, that sounds fascinating. Honestly, the um, <laughs> second class you listed, cost... Cost-benefit analysis. For some reason, that sounds interesting, too. Oh, no, it it totally is, but I don't know how much of it is going to just be, like, word problems. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> as soon as you read train leaving, just throw it up in the air and leave. Okay. A train is leaving. Fuck that shit. A train is leaving. What the fuck does this have to do with economics? <laughs> You'll find out. Well, it's carrying gold. It's carrying Gold. Gold. So you have to blow up one of the trains. So one's got gold in it and one's got explosives. You have to weigh the difference between um, the value of the gold and the awesomeness of the explosion. How are you blowing up the gold? Because it, it was blow just up the rest of the train, the other train. Well, if the other one's got explosive and it's ready to go. Yeah. The gold one. Well, they're both rigged with explosives. So the so other, the other one just train has just a lot more explosives. Right. So it'll be a bigger explosion. So you'll have more like. Um, cognitive pleasure okay. from blowing it up, as whereas this one just like throw gold everywhere. You know what? I want to blow up the explosive one okay. because if I stop the one with the gold, it is already rigged with explosives. I have the gold. I have those explosives. Yeah, I just got like... an A in this class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Dan. I should teach this. <clears throat> just call me Dan. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gross. I'm sorry. Yeah, remember Yol. Yol. Mm. I'll just call you Yol. I'll take Yol. <laughs> All right, you'll. <laughs> then, Kate or something. I'm okay with Kate. Really? Yeah. I've never ever called you Kate. I know. Is it? Most people are like strictly Katie. Do you like one or the other? Are we about to mm. change our entire friendship? Would you like me to call mm. you Kate? I'll call you Kate. You can call me whatever. Don't actually call me whatever, but. S- circle what? face. Circle face. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Dragon Tears. Dragon, I like that. That'll be like my warrior name. Dragon Tears. For if you play like D and D or something. Yeah, and then I'll get like a little tear drop here, like the people in little, prison yep, do. For people to kill. Yeah. Actually, speaking of games, uh, Mixtape had a, a, a board game night the other night, and mm-hmm. that was fucking so fun. I wanted to go to it. You, it, next time she does one, it's it's awesome. Okay. Um, th- we played a game called Zombie Side mm-hmm. that I can't tell if her friend John made or ordered and then painted everything for, but it's you're in a, a group and it's turn based. It's kind of role playing, mm-hmm. and um, everyone does a round of what they're gonna do. You can go into a room, you can search it, and s- based on a randomly, <laughs> uh, a ran- like a you know mixed deck of mm-hmm. cards um depends on what you find you could find weapons you could find zombies right and after everyone goes to the round zombies start coming out of these entry points mm-hmm. and then you go through and you battle the zombies and try and get to the exit mm-hmm. now that i'm talking about it, i don't know why we didn't run straight to the exit down the street through that we were on <laughs> instead we went around a big u in it and what's funny about it is once one person passes the exit everyone wins oh okay. and we did win however yeah. i thought about it and I'm like why you know one guy gets to the exit and calls all the oxen free yeah base and then they just <laughs> let him walk through so uh we made it through that was really fun and then after that we played um i don't remember the name of it but it's a uh you have cards and it's kind of a role-playing thing again and there's one person who's a shogun mm-hmm. and then they're being protected by kind of i think samurais maybe mm-hmm. and then there's a squad of ninjas who are trying to kill the shogun mm-hmm. and then there's a ronin who does whatever the fuck he wants and one person was the shogun so you know we're all kind of just attacking i was the ronin so i got to do whatever i wanted but you don't know who's what except for the shogun shogun's the only one you know so you kind of have to look at other people and how they're playing to determine who they are and that's kind of cool as the ronin i didn't give a shit right but i I kind of generated a strategy towards the end because someone thought they knew who i was Mm -hmm. i started like attacking certain people because i knew who they were somehow Mm -hmm. i was right i think except for one but that game was really fun. But the last game we played, the best fucking game we played, was called Dream Phone. Do you know Dream Phone mm. at all? No. Dream Phone's a game, I can't tell if it's from the late 80s or early 90s, where there's four players, 
there's a stack of cards or a mixed and there's like an octagon of just different sections and each section there are four guys (laughs) (laughs) oh my god if they're all really lame 90s looking guys right so some of them are good looking for 90s standards some of them are like screech guys yeah and you flip over these cards and it has a picture of a guy and a phone number and you have a big plastic phone that you dial. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> so we dial the phone number and it's like, he doesn't like sports except, and then it whispers, the person only holding the phone can hear and it's kind of like a process of elimination game. And after all the cards are gone, everyone makes their guesses for who it is. So you dial the phone with the pound sign mm-hmm. and it's like, nope, not him. Nope, not him. You got it. It's me. And it's supposed to be, you know, you're going to prom, and who's your date going to be? You don't know for some reason. You don't know, <laughs> but it's the it will be so much fun. <laughs> that sounds kind of amazing. And like we sit in there, we see a big pile of games, and we're like trying to figure out what we want to play. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, I want to play Dream Mode. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I want it. And as we pulled out of the box, it's like I know what this is. <laughs> and that was so much fun, and I highly recommend the next one. Okay, come to the Hellmouth. Okay, I will. Do you know what the Hellmouth is from? Um. Uh, um, uh, Buffy. There yes. you go. Okay. <laughs> Katie. What? Whatever you do teach us today. Um, stuff you'll like. Really? I, it's more facts about otters. So, <laughs> was that like silent excitement or something? Woo! Okay. Um, I don't think we actually went over otter in the other languages. I think we did. Uh, French is la l'autre. La l'autre? Mm-hmm. And in Japanese, it's um, arako. Arako? Lako. 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 I've seen, like, Tumblr things because I follow Mm -hmm. uh, Daily Otter. Yeah. And I think Japan, some people own them. Probably. Sounds fucking amazing. (laughs) You know, people have, like, cat trails around their houses. Oh, yeah. I would have one of those, but it'd be tubes full of water for my otter. So we could come in and out and all of them. And that would have like be a little, so adorable. A little beach and he comes up and, like, <laughs> and I feed him fish and stuff and floats on its back and then goes on the tubes. That would be amazing. Yep. Dream life. Okay. We're going to make it for you. God. Okay. Donate to blipcast at gmail.com somehow. Give us money and then we'll make my dream come true. Yeah. That'll be cool. Thanks. We'll open up a PayPal or something. Probably could. Yeah. If you want to give us money, let us know, I guess. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Dream Otter House Foundation. <laughs> Probably kickstart this. Probably. We'd have to get like more people we'll to kickstart it. have to get a house because I don't think they'll let me put it in my apartment. Well, yeah. So we'll have to. It'll so be first like. first a house kickstarter, thanks. Yeah. So and like, then an otter sanctuary kickstarter. And then an otter. That's going to be a lot. That's I mean, going to be like s- at least 700,000. If our loyal fans want to give us $700,000 <laughs> for an otter thing. We'll post, like, YouTube videos. We'll fucking film it. <laughs> we'll just have otters yeah, all over the place. It'll be good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the fact about the river otter is that it's crepuscular. Crepuscular. Would you like to guess what that is? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's active during like twilight and uh, um, and dawn. Okay. Like so, it it sleeps during the day most of the time, or it sleeps during the night around. most of the time. But it changes during the season. So like in the spring, summer, and fall, it is um, nocturnal, and um, during the winter, it's diurnal. So that means that it sleeps during the day. I mean, night, <laughs> and is active during the day. Yeah. Interesting. Why would it want to be? Well, it makes sense, I guess. I think it likes colder weather. So it is you, basically. Oh, my God. (laughs) Without the homosexual connotation, am I an otter? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to break stuff on my chest and eat it. Mm -hmm. All right, Katie, since I already recommended Inside Lewin Davis, I guess that's the show. All right. So you may email us at the aforementioned blipcast at gmail.com. We're on the twits at blipcast, facebook.com slash blipcast. I'm at Ovacord. She's at Lady Laumi's. I always feel like there should be one more thing there. Yeah. Come back in 32. Yeah, we could just have like a random, we love you. I'd Awkward have, hug. I'd give you a really long hug and smell your hair. It could be pretty good. <laughs>
How are we moving? Do you want do you want me to cut the wall out so it's like okay, hang on. That's fine, whatever. No. Oh. <coughs> Zoom me. That might be too much of me. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting lost in the eyes. Oh. Do you do that when you look in the mirror? So I don't have a mirror in here. Oh. I'll never leave. Never leave. Never leave. <laughs> I'll never leave. <clears throat> You're recording correct. I'm recording correct. A Catbox production. <laughs>